The weight room was jam-packed bright and early this morning with 30 total scouts, 26 NFL teams, and two CFL teams as they watched the former players bench press and do vertical jumps. Not participating in the pro day was running back Jeremy McNichols, who's still recovering from shoulder surgery. He did, however, compete in this year's NFL Combine. When he recovers, he will hold workouts with a couple of NFL franchises. McNichols says he has confidence in turning pro. Yeah, I'm not nervous at all. Everything's out there, my resume's out there, my film's out there, my, my times are out there. There's nothing else for me to stress about. Everything is out of my hands at this point. So I'm not going to stress about nothing. Whoever wants me and falls in love with me. Linebacker Tanner Vallejo, who injured his wrist this past year, showed solid effort on the bench, lifting 225 pounds 19 times. He also took part in the 40-yard dash and other field drills. Vallejo's workload today could lead to a possible landing spot in the league. I mean, it's been a, it's been a grind, but it's what I've always wanted to do. It's cool to be able to call your job. Um, when you're going when you're going to a workout, call that your job. This is the best shape I've ever been in and feeling the best I've ever felt in terms of football. So I can I can only imagine once I get pads on how I'll be playing. This year's pro day allowed punter Sean Whale and kicker Tyler Rossa to perform in front of the scouts prior to the other position players. Rossa finished his senior year going 19 for 13 on field goals and was a perfect 58 for 58 on PATs. Though his kicks today were a little off the mark, Rossa says with the right team, he could be kicking on Sundays. It was huge for us. It was a big benefit for Sean and I. Um, we felt like it was it was definitely a good opportunity to see him, for them to see what you know we're all about. I mean, there was a lot of good stuff that you know heard today, talked to some guys, and you know just kind of seeing what to go from there, what kind of phone calls come about. For offensive lineman Mario Yaku and wide receiver Thomas Spurbeck, both did not participate in the NFL Combine, but took part in the Pro Day. Yaku plans to stay in Boise to train for the draft, and Spurbeck's uncle, who is an NFL agent and his agent, will head to Sacramento. Obviously, like you said, you know, it was a bummer not getting invited to the Combine, but I was able to show what I needed to show here, and um, I think I hit most of the times that I wanted. And uh, you know, in the weight room, I think I was I was good at the vert. Broad bench, you know, I hit numbers I really wanted to hit, and I'm happy with today's result. Especially today, I kind of surprised some people with my times and stuff, and, and I think that some guys think that I don't have the athletic ability, but I think I do, and, and um, you know, I have, I'm, I'm pretty football smart, so I got that going for me, but yeah. The NFL Draft will take place on April 27th. Dan Hawk, six on your side.